As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Hey! Piss off! Get out of there! Fuck off! We're what you might refer to as criminals. But I ask you the question, legalities aside, in this doggy dog world, I mean, what is a criminal? Just another bloody regular person, mate. Who does crime? And we don't even do bad crimes. No, that's right. We don't do crimes of hate. We don't do assault, rape, cannibalism. We're about love, not hate. We're about the golden heart that lies within. But we're never going to be your regular nine to five guy who just does the straight, narrow, boring path of life. No, we're going to follow a more crooked path. You know, one full of shortcuts. It's going to get us to where we're going faster than those bloody do-gooders of society. Just like Tony Montana from Scarface. He started off at the bottom and he worked his way up to become a world-class gangster. Sure, in the movie he ended up as a bloody corpse. But in reality, that guy is winning Academy Awards. <coughs> Just like that. Bloody hell, Dale, you're not dead. No, but Kylie, you're asking for trouble dressing sexy like that. You're not sexy, Kylie, but some guy might find you sexy, and then what? One minute he's saying, here, try this. Next minute, you're tricked into smoking crack, and I'm ringing up the drug helpline because my sister's a crack whore on the street. I'm not gonna be a crack whore, Dale, because I don't even know what one is. It's a reality of the street, Kylie, and I'm just trying to protect you. Did you go out last night? No, but well, I've just had a quiet one. I just played some pool. <laughs> oh, pool night. Is that why you're running late? Because of pool night? No, the stupid alarm. It didn't go off. Oh. So get some sleep. No, I can't. I'm working today. I've got a birthday gig at 11. Kylie, you're crazy. What time is such a hypocrite, Dale? You can't go to a children's birthday party smelling like a booze hound! Yes, yeah, fact to luck, my friend. You keep on living till it ends. But the path is a very crooked one. The path is not for you, my son. Because you can go straight and you'll be late for everything else that life has to give. Yeah, you may get A plus on the test, but man, I'm getting double Ds. I'm talking about breasts. <laughs> I express myself through rhymes, just like all those black gangsters from the ghettos. Fitty Scent, Ice Cube, Ice Tea, Vanilla Ice. They, those guys, they had it hard, and I've had it hard. My parents, they were hippies, like irresponsible hippies. Sent me over the edge. I actually did three months serious time. Three months in Davenport School of Gradual Learning when I was 12 years old. Basically, a juvenile prison for gradual learners. My mum, she walked out on us years ago, and my dad, well, he had his heart ripped from him, metaphorically speaking, and he had a breakdown, and he's been in an institute for a while now, which is the reason why I haven't been able to go full-time into crime. I need a regular income, because it's not just myself I have to think about, but my sister. And, and she looks up to me, but I don't want her looking up to me with glazed over eyes from a gutter because she's a crack whore. And that's the reality. If you're not earning a living, the first thing people go for is crack. Dale? I haven't got time, Kylie. Dale? 
What do you think, right? The halo or the tiara? Is that a new costume? Yeah. What was with the insect wings? You look like a mosquito fairy. The halo or the tiara? I'll go the tiara. Okay. More professional. You've been practicing that move I taught you? Yeah, watch. No, 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 no. See, you look clumsy. You have to think light. A fairy's light. They have little steps. Yeah. They need to take off. Little steps. Little steps. You take off like a 747. Then you build it. And then you build more. And then. Hello, Matilda. And then you. See? Okay. Yep. Thanks. No worries. Hello, Matilda. Now I ain't no sponsor for my generation because I can't even find the motivation. So, you know, I'm, I'm set up pretty good here, you know. Couldn't ask for more. You know, I've got a pretty handy deal here too. I've got the kid behind me. He's hooked me up in his uh, dad's shed for power. So I've got power. And I let him come over sometimes, you know. Give him a cigarette, a bit of beer, show me magazines. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. You know, no, none of the neighbours complain yet. Yeah, and if they do, you know, I'm taking up squatters' rights. Fuck them. You know, one thing I'm most proud of in my life is that I've never had a job. I've never needed one, mate. I've always found a way of making money outside the system. You see, one of my philosophies in life is that life's a gamble. Now, I've always been a gambler, both with money as well as my life. Now, some people might think it's a weakness, but to me, it's one of my greatest strengths. Oh, you stupid old bitch, that's my machine. Fuck. When it comes to winning on the machines, well, you've just got to find which ones are putting out. A bit like a woman, eh? <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Uh, the manager just asked me to come and tell you that you've left your credit card at the uh, change booth. Really? Yes, oh. yes. He's holding it for you up there. Right. Thank you. Thank you, young man. <laughs> no problem. Bastard! 